Hey guys, welcome to Speak Audibly's 100% Me podcast. It is your friend, Coach Mike T. And today, I wanted to say Happy New Year's. That's right, it is officially 2021. Oh, it just couldn't have gotten here quicker. I'm just kidding. You know, although 2020 had its ups and downs, it's kind of the year of Jumanji, or sometimes I like to call it the year of, of, Mar- of Murphy, right? Anything that can go wrong did go wrong. Uh, but that doesn't mean that our lives straight up crumbled, right? It doesn't mean that everything was horrible. I mean, some of us had amazing years in our life and in our business in 2020, right? Because we were able to spend more time with our family. We were able, we had the opportunity of zoning in and focusing in on our business just a little bit better. For me, that's exactly what I got out of this thing. And so I'm so excited for 2021, but I wouldn't be as excited if I hadn't had the foundation that I laid back in 2020. And some of my clients would agree because we were able to really get some planning done. Uh, Cause when you're not stuck, you know, in the mall for hours at a time shopping and bumping into people, you know, everything was shut down. <laughs> so, so you weren't stuck at the malls or at the airports or wherever else people go just to hang out when, and waste time right? There was no time wasted. Instead, I was at home. I was in my office. I had things to get done and I did them. And for the things and the times that I didn't have to get something done specifically, I planned for the next thing I did have to get done. And so 2020 was a very productive and efficient year. And it really was the foundation setting up for the framework that's going to happen here in 2021 as we begin to build our legacy house, right? Not a physical home, but the home of our legacy, the, the, the place where our dreams live here in the Wilson house, right? <laughs> but guys, I heard some amazing quotes and I wanted to go over some of those quotes today. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and I hope that you will enjoy this with me. And, and not necessarily would you be motivated because I really, I really don't like that term motivation, right? Because it's something that should really be down within us, right? Whatever that motivation is, whatever that lure is, whatever that, that carrot that we kind of dangle in front of ourselves, you know, that thing that we really want, that should be the source of why we do what we do. Not that we have these outside influences that motivate us to move or don't motivate us to move. It's your purpose. It's the thing that you feel deep down inside you have to accomplish, that you have to achieve, that you have to serve or help others with. That thing is what keeps you motivated. But I do have some quotes here and some of them are on risk taking because I've had this crazy kind of obsession lately with risks. You know, I read it in Tony Robbins book, Money Master the Game. And he says that we should be looking for asymmetric risk reward relationships, right? So I should have something that is ultimately a low risk, but gives me a great reward. And he goes through all the billionaires who have done that very thing, right? So that lets us know that it's not impossible, that there are ways of really doing your research and and, and finding understanding in certain things, whether it be in the stock market or the real estate market. I mean, whatever the industry is, you know where the low hanging fruit is. And I hate that term as well, (laughs) low hanging fruit, but you know where those asymmetric relationships are with the risk and reward. But as we go ahead here, I want to talk through some of these. When it comes to a Harold Tony Martins, he says that my best advice to entrepreneurs is this, forget about making mistakes, just do it, right? I mean, it sounds like a Nike quote, right? <laughs> just do it. But that's exactly it. There were so many times in 2019 and previous years that I, I, I tried to make the thing perfect. I didn't want to launch anything until I knew that it would bring money in or that I knew that I could really make it so excellent, right? And so perfect. And what ended up happening is I would stall out. I would work on it and work on it and work on it. And then all the what ifs came. You tried to answer all the what ifs for the service or the product, right? And once you finally got around a whole lot of what ifs, which as you know, becomes a great big rabbit hole that you just continue to what if down. But once you get to a place where you're comfortable, right? Then you have to try to make sure the thing looks right and that it sounds right and that you're marketing it right. And oh, let me get the website for it and all these things. And you just don't want to make the mistakes. You want to make it so perfect that that people literally just come crawling to you, begging you for your service or your product. And that's what would happen to me in, in the couple businesses that I started, you know, previous to 2020. And let me tell you, 
when I finally got the thing launched, no, the people didn't come. Because I was so focused on not making a mistake and making this product so perfect that I forgot to go out and actually do some sort of, find some sort of social proof, right? Do some sort of research in that market to make sure people wanted the thing. So I spent time, I spent money. When I say time, I mean I spent months on this thing. I spent my hard earned money on it just to find out the market really didn't want the thing. So if only I would have failed faster, if only I would have taken Mr. Martin's, you know, advice on this that said, you know, forget about making mistakes, just do it. Don't worry about the mistakes. And then, of course, there's Confucius, who, you know, has quotes all over the place because it's just a great individual in our history. Right. He says, our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. And that was 2020 for me. Right. It was I had already been falling up until that point. So 2020 for me was just another opportunity to rise again, to not have to worry about what other people are thinking of me because I'm just trying to be better than I was yesterday. And whenever you're stepping out into this new venture, whenever you're stepping out on a new journey or a new path within your journey, you're going to trip. You're, you're going to fall at times, right? You're going to stumble over the weeds because you're trailblazing. You're, you're doing something brand new. So it's okay. Your greatest glory is isn't that you never fall. It's that you rise every time you do fall. That's so great. And I hope that speaks to you on a deep level. I'm gonna do a couple more here because this is what we need to hear about, right? Because 2020 for some people just felt like the year of everything failing, right? Maybe they got furloughed or laid off and they've been relying on these different stimulus checks and they don't know where they're gonna go because they have this degree, but the places that they want to, they're wanting to work at aren't exactly quote unquote essential, you know, and their fear is that there's gonna be another shutdown, another lockdown, they're gonna be back out of work. You know, don't worry about that. So Drew Houston says this, he says, don't worry about failure. You only have to be right once. You only have to be right once. And ultimately that's why I do what I do. That's why I'm, my hands are in a little bit of everything. Of course, I have my coaching agency, you know, and I love helping clients. That's my way of serving. That's my purpose. That's my ministry. But on the, behind the scenes, you know, there's affiliate marketing. There's, there's so many little courses and programs that I have out. There's books. Of course, as you guys know, I'm an author and I have so many different little books. We just got into children's books, right? With my sons and they're creating these stories and I'm helping them kind of bring them to life and but there's so many different things, so many different industries that we have our hands in that have these little trickles, right? And it's simply because we're not scared of failure. We're just, we're just not, I mean, it's taken a long while and 2020 helped to really solidify this in us that we actually love failure. The relationship that I have with failure is, is one that, I mean, failure truly is my dear friend <laughs> because I learn from every mistake. I learn from every new adventure. As the saying goes, you either you either win or you learn. You're either winning or you're learning. And that's how we view failure in this house is that we're either winning, either the thing worked or we're learning. But like Michael Jordan said, you know, it's not really truly a failing, a failure or a failing activity, a failure in your life unless you quit. It's not really a failure until you quit. Once you say, you know what, I can't do this, I'm done doing this, then yeah, go ahead and chalk that up as a failure. And we've had a few of those in our lives, that's for sure. But when you continue to pivot and you continue to learn and build off of these little mistakes and these things that you made, it's a beautiful thing, right? Because like Drew Houston says, you only have to be right once. So even though our hands are in all these different things, we are considered, I guess, serial entrepreneurs. I mean, you don't really worry about that when you're just out here trying to create stuff. I don't know. Whatever it relates to you, whatever it needs to be said, whatever your term is for what we do, we have our hands in so many little things here and there to try to get these little drips, to get the little trickles, right? We remain diversified in our entire life and in our entire business, not just in our stocks or whatever the case may be. We just love diversification. We love not putting all our eggs in one basket, regardless of where that is in our life. And so with that, 
I want you guys to remember and, and stay close to that. Don't worry about the failure. You only have to be right once. Keep trying new things. Your greatest glory isn't that you never fail or that you never fall, but it's that you continue to rise every time you do fall. All right, forget about making those mistakes, man. I challenge you, I implore you, I urge you to go out there and just do it. Just do it. Don't look back, 2020 is behind us. I hope that you've built some sort of foundation or the plan to begin to build is in place and that 2021 is your year. It's your year that you fail fast, that you fail forward, and that you are only right that specific one time that you need to be right. Again, guys, this is Coach Mike T with Speak Audibly. Thank you so much for your listening ear. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.